Okay, welcome to the bonus reading for today, December 1st, uh, Wednesday. Um, December 1st marks the day that the planet Neptune goes direct after being in retrograde for about five months. Um, I've been learning a lot about this, so I wanted to at least share this message and mark the occasion because five months ago, essentially June 2021, there was a shift when Neptune went into retrograde, Neptune being the planet of our illusions, our spirituality, um, mysticism, imagination, our intuition. When it goes into retrograde, it sort of demystifies a lot of um, things for us, like as if all of a sudden uh, we can see more clearly. Um, especially issues that have been glossed over. Um, if you feel like you have been living in a fantasy um, or not seeing things super clearly, and then all of a sudden this summer um, things started to make more sense, or you have been waking up to some uh, new truths about a situation, uh, Neptune is to blame. And so it has been in retrograde for the last five months and now it's direct which means it's sort of ushering in another cycle of fantasy land um so i want to do a quick reading today just meditating on that um you know it's not necessarily a, a bad thing i don't i don't think it's a bad thing to um have to enter into like this dreamy state once more um that's what's happening for us and so i don't know which what should i do today because we're talking about astral bodies i've got this moonology deck and i'll do a quickie spread for this for this neptune coming direct today Um, some of the answers or, or, or questions that may have come up in the last five months are, what do you find spiritually fulfilling? Uh, for me, and incidentally, and this is why I think this is so interesting for me, is that I started reading tarot in June. Um, and I had done it before, like I had had a, I had a deck and I did it for fun sometimes for friends. But something happened in June, June 16th where I just started uh, reading every day. I would pull cards of the days and I'd, I'd be learning, quizzing myself about the meanings of the cards and just, you know, every day picking a card and reflecting on its meaning and then at the end of the day, journaling about how it had applied to my life in some way. And so that's a really great way to learn. That's sort of what I've been doing. Um, and there is so much to learn. Um, it is sort of like an endless quest, it feels like, for me. Um, there are so many talented readers out there and people who know astrology backwards and forwards. Um, and me, I'm, I feel like, I feel as though I'm still in the beginning. But um, that for me was a spiritually fulfilling thing to do. Um, it definitely helped with things like shadow work and understanding a little bit more about um, what what various realities have been of certain situations in my life. Um, if this is true for you as well, you can let me know in the comments. But like, what what things in your life did you all of a sudden have clarity on, like that you could see see it for what it was or see how you have sort of been um, awakened to feeling more right in your body somehow, like more, more in touch with your true feelings about a situation or like uncovering, you know, how you really feel or maybe it's about uncovering some sort of creativity that you have that like came out of nowhere, you know, but it was always there. 
Uh, and the other kind, I guess, flavor of clarity that Neptune in retrograde would have brought is like where we were previously confused or lost, now there seemed to have been some sort of path. I'm a little sad that the retrograde is ending because for me there's been tremendous growth and I, I know a lot of people in my life have experienced the same thing of like finding a new direction in life, like realizing what they want and seeing things for what they are is a lot of clarity. Um, I think it's also a lot of, uh, it is a bit of heavy energy to like come to terms with things. And so today we're entering back into this like dreamlike state of Neptune direct. Um, it is about deep intuition and in our imaginations. It can be about delusion and confusion again, but um, I'd like to get some advice today in this spread about how to uh, stay the course and take only the, um, the positive qualities of Neptune direct for the next cycle, which I think again goes to like, I don't know, sometime next year. Step out of your comfort zone, North Node. Have faith in your dreams, uh-huh. Meditate and contemplate. This is beautiful Neptune energy. Also, new moon in Pisces, which is um, extremely auspicious. Are you going to focus? Good lordy, lordy. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. You got to just believe me, I guess, when I say that this is... There you go. <laughs> Pisces. Pisces. Neptune is in the part of the sky that is Pisces. That's where it's been in retrograde and that's where it's direct now. Uh, Pisces is also very dreamy, very compassionate sort of energy, watery. What else can we say about Pisces? Mystical, intuitive, imaginative, compassionate, sensitive. All the qualities of Neptune is Pisces here. Meditate and contemplate. So if this is a time now we're entering to uh, dream your dreams, this is really about like taking this newfound knowledge that we have of clarity of the last five months and I was going to say taking action. I mean, I th of course we can't stagnate. This is not just because like some, some planetary body moves into some place in the sky, we stop living our lives or something, but in some very significant way, we are asked to not be afraid to dream and um, imagine that the life that we want is, is, is possible. Have faith in your dreams. Step out of your comfort zone. Meditate and contemplate. I love it. I love it so much. I'm going to do a quick five card spread here of the sort of um, um, easy action to ease transition spread or the change spread. Um, I found this online. It's a very easy one and it's a very quick way to get some advice. This is one of my favorite combos, is using the Moonology deck with this Northern Animal Tarot. All right, what advice is there for us here? Wow, uh, the Six of Wands. So the Six of Wands in this position of action to ease transition is to celebrate all that you have accomplished so far. I think it's about realizing that when things become clear to us and we start taking action towards uh, more balance, more um, compassion for self uh, within the turbulence, within 
you know, if we are accepting these, these new ideas, and if you have accepted and, and found new truths that are now becoming a part of your new um, idea of self, your new idea of uh, your life, it is, um, the, there's this happy celebratory energy here that's saying this is how you transition, okay? So I'm seeing this as like a, you know, some kind of like holiday party um, conversation about, you know, seeing somebody you haven't seen in a while and saying, this is what I've learned this year and it's made me realize these are my dreams and this is how I think I can go about doing this. And in some ways I feel... There's some, I'm getting a message about something like sharing your dreams with other people because there's opportunities for alignment of mission. Um, and I say mission because North Node has shown up here. Like, don't be afraid to say the thing you're most terrified doing. If there is fear here, it's, um, it's calling to confront it. I like to confront fear by saying it out loud. And then it, it's no longer inside of me and it's no longer taking up my space. But now it's like sort of in, in like this loving awareness of the space around me. Have faith in your dreams. Hmm. What is the support? What support do we have for this celebratory energy? Oh, the emperor action. Yes. Moving things forward. Time is moving forward. We're all moving forward. We're all going ahead. I was having a conversation last night about this where it's like, you know, everyone is living their own life and we must also remember to live ours in the way that we see fit. Things aren't going to wait for you. Live your life the way the way you imagine it can always be and don't be afraid don't don't be um don't sell yourself short have faith in your dreams what you will gain from taking this forward action ace of pentacles new opportunity oh hell yeah oh hell yeah move towards this golden ticket I feel like if, if like our realities, if, if each of our own individual realities um, is dictated by our own perception of the world, shouldn't that be enough to give you the hope and the, the optimism to go after what you want, knowing that it's possible? Because it's your, it's your life. There is like big go for it energy here. What you need to let go of. What do we need to let go of here in this Neptune direct? Come on. The hanged beast. Seven card. The hanged beast is about, it's the hanged man of the card or the hanged one of, of this deck. This is about taking a step back. This is about, again, seeing things for what they are, seeing things from a different perspective. If this is something which we need to let go of, I sense that this, this message is maybe more about stay, stay the course, stay true to your dreams, stay true to that which you believe, and, and just believe. Look at this, I uh, love this bat. Over the summer, while I was going, or rather experiencing the effects of, which I now know as Neptune retrograde, I was having lots of dreams about bats. 
Um, bats were showing up everywhere. Bats are a symbol of transformation. In one dream in particular, this bat was trying to, um, or at least I thought it was, attacking me. And in my dream, I looked up a YouTube video on how to deal with this creature, which I tried to put it away. I tried so hard to put it away. I think I like tried to shut it in a cupboard and then it would like, you know, somehow find its way out or like that it could see me. And to me, this was like a big representation of fear of like not wanting to see something that had been buried or suppressed. It's something to let go of. Again, call out your fears and bring them into your loving awareness. This like, love this aura around this, this bat. I see this as like the Neptune going direct. There's, we're entering again a state of, um, a lot of manifesting power is coming back. I think like stepping into this manifesting power. It's evident with this new moon in Pisces card that show up, this meditate and contemplate. Um, intuition starts with our thoughts. Um, but thought is an exercise, you know. Um, the things we think, the things we speak can become our realities. Finally, let's get a message for the collective from all of your higher selves. Page of Wands. Mm -hmm. There's new inspiration coming. Inspiration to step out of your comfort zone, have faith in your dreams. A previous reading, was it today or, or the other day was, uh, or it was this morning, this get grounded message through um, starting either like a meditation practice. Uh, this is about listening also another message being carried over from this morning taking action on your dreams so because we are entering Neptune direct there will be a lot of energy guiding us back towards our intuition, our imaginations, our dreams. I sort of see this as a, as a little bit boundary pushing, but the message from this morning, I recommend you go watch it. If you are just sitting in, it's like the, the, they called it the armchair astronaut. If you're just dreaming and dreaming and dreaming and not doing anything, not saying anything about it, not, not having... Um, real thoughts about how to go about taking action towards the fulfillment of those dreams. Therein lies the, uh, the risk of Neptune Direct, you know, the pitfall potentially of thinking and thinking and dreaming and not, and not taking any action. I do believe there will be an opportunity, a new opportunity coming up to uh, release yourself from fears of pursuing your dreams, of um, some kind of newfound confidence to step out of your comfort zone. This is inspired action. It is the seed of inspiration. And the way to nurture that is through celebration. Celebrate everything you have accomplished in the last five months and hold it close as your truth. If you want to learn more about the planet Neptune and the retrograde and it's, you know, going direct today, I recommend you just Google it and, and do some little, little bit of research for yourself and see how Maybe it's impacted you in, in your last whew, five months <laughs> since June. It's very clear to me how what, what has happened, what has gone down. So, and there's, there's a lot of astrological movement in the month of December. There's, I think, like a lunar eclipse in Sagittarius on Saturday. So I'll put out another video um, once I get a chance to meditate on, on what, what's happening um, there. So um, thanks for watching. 
shoot me a like, shoot me a comment, share the video if you think it was helpful. Um, cheers.